this is episode one of the new vlogging series on the route to Euro Pro Tour in like eight weeks time. Um, regionals is coming up in about seven weeks time and then finals will be in eight weeks time. What we're gonna do is basically just document the whole trip. Um, I'm gonna just get my camera out and film as much as possible. Week by week, I'll probably film every like seven days or 10 days, put the episodes together um, just to give you like the complete look into what this looks like, me getting ready for Euro Pro. Um, tournament recaps while I'm playing the Jamiga Tour and maybe some other tours as well. Everything leading up to regionals and then final stage. I'm just about to set off this week playing Royal Ascot, playing the um, playing the Jamiga Tour on Monday, Tuesday. It's Sunday now, so I'm heading up to Warminster to pick up Steve Surrey. And then um, we're gonna head straight down to Ascot today and um, eat some food and then basically do some practice. Just wanna do a bit of work on the short game um, and then, yeah, get a practice round in and then get ready for tomorrow. But anyway, let's, let's get this going. No, 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 here it is. Round two, it. round two, it's not happening. Okay. It's not happening. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Another need to win all three today. TJ Fridays is calling. <laughs> yeah. Little pitch and putt to start on it. 163. Yeah, it's nice off the front too, anyway. Yeah, it's like 230 off the back, but we're playing it at 160. So. Yeah, downwind. Downwind. Yeah. Flick a wedge to start the round, it's always nice. Yeah, so just out here filming a video for the last like sort of four holes. Um, we have done another match today. This keeps the practice rounds a bit more interesting when we're doing 555, front line, back line overall. It's me and Steve against Hugo and Liam. And uh, yeah, to be fair, I've carried Steve most. No, I'm joking. Steve's carried me quite a long way round today. Yeah, so just like on one of the tougher tee shots today. Um, 16 looks very daunting off the off the tee. But what were you saying about when you get up there? Yeah, so to I, do? Would, I would pick a reference point because you can see the left edge of the bunker from the tee. So I'd laser from there how far it is to the the left hand trees. Yeah. So when I'm stood on the tee and you can't see anything, you've got a reference point that that bunker, I know I've got 50, 60 yards left or 30 yards left. I mean, you can probably already see yourself how much yeah. room that actually is. Just frees you up, doesn't it? Knowing yeah. that you've got 60 yards to aim at instead of 30, which, which it looks like off the tee. The thing I'm having to get used to a lot off the tee is trying to see like the fade. Yeah, yeah. Because I've been always pretty much my whole life aiming up the right and seeing a draw actually seeing where you can start a fade because when I hit a bad one there but that's starting down the middle and moving right yeah. instead of starting down the left but I think and missing on the right side of the hole say on that tee you can almost preempt you're going to do it because it looks like there's trouble left don't want to start it left yeah and it's so easy then to start it right well we played the round today um, we do a little round review and talk to oh turn that down Talk to Steve and Leon because they did play some good golf. But we're just driving into Wentworth. I thought I'd show you as we are staying just down the road, show you some of the sights and try and have a little look about. I was meant to actually vlog this a couple weeks ago, just before they had a fire, or just after they had a fire, which is an ideal. First time it's ever happened at Wentworth. Set to play with Nate Massey, Pat, and Leon. We're going to film a course vlog and uh, it caught fire the night before, which is great. Have you been here, Steve, yeah? I uh, played it once, been here quite a lot of times to watch the golf. Which course have you played? Uh, I played the West once and the Edinburgh a couple of times. Okay. Is, the, is the West the tournament? The West is the main one, yeah. Just drive up by the first tee in a minute. Dear. Oh, maybe not quite yet. Yeah, I've obviously never been here. I've not even watched the golf here, to be fair. No, it's, come up. it's uh, a great place to go. Spend more time looking at the houses and watching the golf. Yeah, we might do some tours later. I'm not sure how well that'll go down. Doing photos, taking videos of houses. But... It's 18. Of course. That's 18 of the West. Of course it is, yeah. It doesn't quite look the same yeah, without. Yeah. Uh... yeah, I'd just get my bearings. There it is. Small little clubhouse. Need to refurb that really, don't I? Who's this then? No sportsman. <laughs> so why is you loud in here with that, mate? This is the beast. <laughs> we have a tour of the van. <laughs> we have a little tour. Yeah, why not? 
keep, keep them updated it's with how the, with how it progresses, eh? Yeah. Should we go around the other side? Okay. Yeah, let's go around the other side. Yeah. yeah come, come. You you tell me where to go. Come, come. So this is it right now. There's a hole. There's not much to it. There's a hole. But you see it in two months. It's gonna be banging. I'm, I, you said you said see it in three months, three months ago. Now yeah. you're saying two months. No, I haven't even had it three months. Have you not? No. Okay. You've got a big job on your hands, haven't you? I have. So what's the plan then? What's tell them what what you what you want to do with it? Fixed bed back there, storage underneath, kitchen, boom, boom, settee, sofa, little L shaper, nice toilet, compost toilet underneath here. So you can have a nice view. You're seeing a lot more oh, yeah. room than I'm seeing here. And major sound system in there. About it. Yeah, yeah aircon's this guy <laughs> the roof, natural natural aircon. Yes, yeah, so it's a proper golf course and like Almost played this the other week, didn't we Leon? Yeah, it was a real shame that we did it. Nate said we'll definitely do it soon. Though. So I think we're back up here next Saturday. Like Saturday, Saturday, as in like, not event, but the event after. I think we're back in Surrey, so we can, we can play. Surrey tour. Probably yeah. the day before we're on the Surrey tour, aren't we? This is the Surrey tour plus the Midlands for two events. So a little, uh, Colin. It's a little drink. Colin. About to head up out, out on the par three course now. Monty. Hey look, it's get it player. Yeah. We have a... Get it, get it. You have a yeah. Chevy? Yeah. They have a celery. I have been a boy. A celery by hell. That's a sick photo, isn't it? Yes. How, how uh, good to see that there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mate, he's, That's a thumbnail he, photo there, isn't it? He, is, uh, he has got better with age. That he has sure. matured like a fight. Well, yeah. like a, you know, like Turkish a, like, teeth. like a rose, Turkish maybe. Teeth. Really shit. This is the only place that kind of overlooks the west from the clubhouse. Nice view, isn't it? Oh, do you think he's going to make it past the uh, ladies' tea? That it's probably some like Russian gangsters. He's actually oh, Kane, there, isn't he? Cut. We're going to get that zooming in down cut. there, but cut. yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Just so you're aware, that's about 180. <laughs> get to that point. Yeah. <laughs> right out on the par three. Switch to the phone cam just for some ball flights. Can he play to the cameras? You good? Sit on that. No, you just squash my glasses on my microphone, mate. Get some back in the vlogs then. Morning all. Back in the gym, I see. Yeah. Looking pretty big. Yeah, that's the thing, innit? You join the gym and you end up not being able to fit through the. Might have to join somewhere else. You need a bigger warehouse to get in. Something but like a big. Like, you see that door there? The garage. If this gym had a door like that, I'd be able to fit in. But I can't here. You tried walking sideways. Still too big, mate. I'm so thick in the upper body. You're thick in the head. Yeah, that too. Mainly the upper body there, mate. I'm just... I've put on a lot of depth, you know, back to front and... Yeah, you've put on a lot of... You've been obviously doing a lot of rows and bench press yeah mate a lot of kayaking actually down at um 
down at Dawlish. Kayaking. Yeah, I've been getting out on a kayak, I got a kayak. Have you? Yeah. It's great, mate, it's great. You sit out in the sun, you build your Athamus dorsi, rear abdominis deltoids, and it's just good. It's just your nice rear stuff. abdominis deltoids. Yeah, yeah. It's a new muscle which, you know, with evolution we've... we've Abdominus, never heard of that Well Greek what happens God. is, is when you're so steep on the ball, you build new muscles which have never even been seen before. And um, it helps with thickness in, in the... Your body. wrists must be pretty strong as well. Yeah. To withstand that amount of just torture that well, you've inflicted on the, the last yeah, few years. Exactly, well a lot of training for that is obviously... <laughs> um, and, and that helps me build up the strength in the wrist, both left and right, a swap. You are a Yeah. Yeah, I know, it's, uh, it's good training. Right, good morning. So, um, this is the last day of the vlog, and today we're going to go through like the tournament review briefly um, for the last event. Now, the range officially opens at 10, but I usually try and get here at 9. Um, it usually opens at 9, just so I can hit some of my real balls on the track man and do lots of wedge stuff, so like distances, bits and pieces like that. But here he comes up the road. Um, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing practice wise right now. Right, so we're going to start the morning by getting on the track man. Trackman is definitely the tool that I use the most. I'm trying to stay away from camera as much as possible, um, just to not be completely position obsessed. Got um, a group of balls here, which are you know similar to ones I'll be using. I'm gonna start with the Jaws 56 degree wedge. Got my target out there on the Trackman, which is that tire there. And I'm gonna start by just getting some feels for sort of like 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 yard shots. Try and dial them in. This weather is so bad. August. So this is basically, these numbers here with the wedges, these feel like a sort of like an 80% swing, like the hardest swing I'd want to comfortably make with a wedge while still being able to gain control. Um, so they're sort of like three quarter shots. So I've got my wedges, so I've got the yardages down, 48 is 120 carry, 52, 105, 56, 90. I can obviously get another like 10, 15 out of all these numbers, but this is like a comfortable yardage. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the bags, this is what we've got. These numbers may be about five less than they are here. So this is when I was turning over a bit and I've just... One of the changes that I've made over the last few days is I've just weakened my golf a tiny bit. I just don't want to see the left side of the golf course at all. I'm trying to just get the shot pattern where the straight ball misses slightly left, little fade misses on tar is on target, and just turning it off misses slightly right at target. I'm going to try and play with that shot pattern really like dial in the numbers. And it's just so much more easier to manage your way around a golf course if you've got a consistent shot pattern, you know how far you hit each club, it should just be then plotting it around. All right, it's five balls of four iron. Nine foot, nine inches right of target. That's, that's pretty tight for a four iron. Hitting it, that's like 220 shot one turned over the rest pretty much all little cuts and my ball striking has literally gone up tenfold in like a week or a few days just changing my grip so we're going to take this to next week i'm actually really excited about playing next week and do um this afternoon we're going to do some short game practice some chipping putting um the exit uni area is now open we're going to really, really be working on like start line with putter and um just getting the shots dialed in around the greens. And yeah, I am really excited about next week. I feel like it could be a good one. So let's go into um, sort of like tournament recap from last week. I'm not gonna spend that much time on it. Um, I didn't manage to carry over the underbar tournament from last week and continue like the run of form. Um, ended up shooting nine over the first round and then finished three over the second round. I would go into like the round in round one, but Prior to that round, and during that round, there was stuff going on off the golf course, which is a bit personal that I'm not really going to share. So, 
it's going to leave it to that for that round there's no point in going through it second round went out with a much better mindset felt a lot better and um, ended up free putting like three times missed quite a few birdie putts to shot for, to shoot free over and it was like 35 mile an hour winds and raining for like 15 holes so hit some really good shots played some good golf i think the best round of the day was actually three under second round um just because it was so tough so yeah sort of where i'm going to leave it for this tournament but um as i said worked a few things out I feel like i'm getting rid of that left miss um obviously progressively getting rid of left miss but that grip change has just helped again push things forward again i'm um, doing some work on the putting trying to get the ball starting online um and then when i get to sandwell which is the next event next week i'm going to um, spend a lot of time um doing some lag drills unfortunately the the, the putting area at ascot golf club wasn't um that big and it was like on two tiers that were quite small so you couldn't really do much um you couldn't really do much distance control drills anyway next week that's the next episode so we're going up to samwell which is in the midlands west brom i'm going to take you along for episode two let me know what you think of this this is going to obviously vlog all the way up to euro pro q school can't expect tournament golf to be you know straightforward every single week but i'm going to document the whole thing so if you have enjoyed it leave me a comment let me know what you think give the video a like subscribe if you haven't already episode two coming soon um from samuel if you want to check out how i'm doing then just head to, head to the jimmy guitar website and uh go to live scores other than that thanks for watching and i will see you on the next video